I'm going to show you when and how to define a procedure in App Inventor. And I've got this simple note taking app. Um, all it does is kind of, you know, you can type in a word or a name. Here's what I'm doing. So I'll type in Dave and click submit. And, and the app just or the item just appears in this list of notes. Okay, my phone is projecting onto the screen here, so that's why that's why you're seeing it. Okay, so I've got this app. When the app begins, I load in a list of data from the database and I display it. And when the user submits a new item, I add it to the list and then I redisplay the whole list. Okay, so there's this kind of duplicate code to display a list. It's these two blocks here in submit button dot click. You'll notice they're the same as the blocks up here in um, screen initialize. Okay, in, in general, it's, a, it's not a good idea to have duplicate code in your app, especially as your app gets big. Okay, because when you have to make changes, then you have to go find all the different places where it needs to be changed. And that could be a bug you need to fix, or it could be you just decide you want to display things differently, like with two, two new lines in between each, each item, something like that. Okay, so how do you, how do you define a procedure and get this duplicate code into one one place. Okay. Well, you just go to the procedure store, and I'm going to grab this to procedure do block. Okay. Think of procedure as just a named sequence of blocks. So I'm going to name this sequence display list. All right. And I'm just going to grab these this code that I know is what it does is display a list. I'm going to grab these blocks and just move them over here. All right, so there, there they are. They're same exact blocks. Um, I'm going to get rid of the the copy down here. All right, so I don't need that. So I got to do a little finagling, but I'll just throw these guys in the trash. Okay, so now my submit button, and now I kind of need to replace this stuff with a call to this procedure. So I now have a new block called just call display list, which does this stuff for me. And I can get to that block in the procedure store. So here's call display list. I just stick it right in there and screen initialize. So basically it's going to say, you know, go get the stuff from the database, then call this procedure to do this stuff. And I'll just copy this, command C, command V, and put it down here. I think I had it, I had that code right here. It doesn't really matter. It could go below the database code. But essentially after I add the item to the list, I'm going to display the list and then go about what I'm doing. So the, you know, the behavior of the app is ex exactly the same. Nothing's changed. We've just reorganized it so that we don't have copies of code. The code to display list is in one place, and if we decided to display things differently, we could change it. 